The family of a man shot to death by Fort Worth police is calling for an independent investigation. The police department is still not saying much of anything, but we did find out today that the two officers involved have only been on the job for about seven months. Fox Sports' Larry Berger in the neighborhood tonight where it happened. Larry. Well, Steve, the family did say that they thought that this would be best looked into by an independent investigator. The police have released few facts, and the family told me that they believe something went terribly wrong. It just didn't all add up to me. I just have no idea why a man could, an officer could shoot a man down in his own garage. I have no idea how he could do that, honestly. Johnny Waller wants to know the circumstances behind his older brother's death. Jerry Waller was shot and killed by Fort Worth police officers early Tuesday morning. I don't know what it was that happened. In their statements Tuesday, police released few details, including what may have made the rookie officers feel threatened. The homeowner was armed with a handgun, and officers feared for their lives, and they shot the homeowner. In a statement to the media, Angie Waller says her family has been deeply troubled with how police have characterized what happened. We were disturbed by suggestions that the police may have felt threatened by a man in his own garage faced with unknown trespassers yielding flashlights. The officers, both with less than a year on the force, responded to a burglary alarm across the street from Waller's house. The homeowner there accidentally tripped the alarm. Waller, according to his family, was coming outside to check on his neighbor. This is not a guy who didn't know about guns. This oh, is, no. This is not a guy who couldn't hear. Or... No, he had perfect hearing. And uh, like I say, he was a perfect specimen for his age. He was well built. He worked out all the time. He loved working out. At the age of 72, Jerry Waller still worked at his tire company. His family says they're still stunned by what happened. Yeah, it's just hard to believe, really. I have. You know, I just can't imagine this happening to Jerry. Just everyone loved Jerry. Everyone liked Jerry. The Fort Worth Police Department declined a request for a comment today, but they did release the names and ages of the officers who were involved in this incident. They're 23-year-old Alexander Hepner and 26-year-old Benjamin Hanlon, both of those officers on administrative leave while the investigation proceeds. Steve? Laurie, uh, police have said that the officers felt threatened. They haven't said why they felt threatened. Let me ask you, based on your experience, you work with the Fort Worth Police Department a lot. Previous incidences like this, if this man had raised a gun at the police, the police would have revealed that, right? They, they disclose that kind of thing when it's that obvious, don't they usually? Well, I mean, you would think that they would because that would be um, in their best interest right. um, and kind of quell this uh, public outcry. However, I know that they are trying to be very circumspect until the investigation is complete. So we can't say definitively, but I would think that they would have revealed that. Yeah. I had another police officer tell me today, and I'm not sure if you've had a chance how much you've gotten into this, but looking at the crime scene photo where the casings were and where the, the man was shot in the garage, it, he thought maybe the officers were surprised by the man. Maybe they were without cover. I don't know. Is there any, any more investigative dialogue going on now there between officers? Uh, there really is nothing uh, that they're telling us at this point about the investigation. However, listening to Angie Waller, the daughter, talk today, she talked about the fact that there were no family members present when the actual shooting took place. But she said immediately afterward, upon viewing the body, that uh, it seemed improbable that those officers may have feared for their lives. So uh, all that, we hope, will come out in the investigation. Okay. Laurie Berger in that Fort Worth neighborhood tonight. Thank you.